So a question I got asked was why I use such a wide perspective when it comes to the attacks instead of staying close up on the action. And the main reason why I do that is so people can see the strategies that we're using and how we're deploying the troops, how they may not necessarily hit the beach because I know I cut that off a lot, but how we control them after they are already in the field and attacking and the different strategies we use because sometimes when you have that, you know, I guess shaky cam approach where you're constantly moving throughout the battlefield, you don't get a chance to really see the t technique and where they're placing certain amounts of their uh, gunboat energy uses. And so that's why I take that approach and then usually I just close in for the headquarters kill. When it comes to this attack, they left their shield generator really naked back there, thinking that behind there you can't get to it. So I drop some critters back there, I take out the vault, and then we get a little bit extra gunboat energy back, and then it's time to drop the troops. And these cryobombs are super, super helpful right now in getting these attacks. We would we're using the heavy Zuka approach, which I've said before and I'll say again. Uh, unless the next update really changes some of the dynamics of the game, which I doubt. Heavy Zooka seems to be the best all-around approach for just about anything. Certain base setups might change that, but usually having a yeah, boat of medics and then Heavy Zooka following that usually powers through just about everything that we've got. And uh, I think it's just a great strategy. So that's what we're using right now. We're on our way to level 50. And you can see we're taking out this base right now with very little issues. We lost some troops, but we're going to end up taking it out. We're building our resources back up after some builds. And, it's, uh, and now it's just about getting to level 50. And there we go, another victory. Last and certainly not least, we have this attack right here. And we're going to be using this typical strategy that we've been using since the cryo bombs came out, which I didn't know. I've never really used them before because I wasn't playing the game for a while. And uh, when it came to using the, the cryo bombs, the first time I actually used them was in this past Microcrab. I had never had a chance to use them before. And so it is a great little addition. I can totally see why they are not a standard when it comes to this because, well, they are, they do really change the dynamic of the game and it becomes very, very easy to take down a base. I guess if you look at a, if you have those cryo bombs and you can slow, those, slow down those defenses, which means you're slowing down their damage per second, really, unless it's a one shot, one kill type scenario, you're really kind of lowering the, the expectation of a base. You might be fighting a level 56 base, but it turns out that it, you know, with a, couple cryo bombs it's acting more like a level 35 base and so you can see we powered right through this one our zookas are in position everybody's distracted by the multitude of critters that's out on the field we got the heavies in the back carl jeff back there right the cruise brothers they're taking out a lot of the support buildings for some gunboat energy and there we go there's another victory right there Hey folks, if you're just tuning in for the first time and you caught this video, make sure you look at our previous video. Uh, you can search for Boom Beach Warships if it didn't come up as a suggestion and watch it because we have some gameplay footage of the upcoming update. We don't have a date on it yet, but it looks like it's going to be a fun update and I'm anticipating some uh, beautification to the game as well, so I'm really excited. Catch you next time.